Hello everyone. This video is a review of the Wakey Me Grow Light. I received this grow light from the people who make it in exchange for reviewing the light. No strings attached and no money exchanged hands, but I do get to keep the light, so I figured why not take a look at it. The light was shipped to me from Amazon. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. As is typical with Amazon, the grow light was in its own box inside of your standard Amazon shipping box. The box with the grow light in it was packed very well. There was a piece of paper right on top titled user's manual, but really it was just a brief description of the light, its features, and how to assemble it. This side was in English. The other side, I assume, is Chinese. Okay, time to take the grow light out of the box. It is really nicely packed in styrofoam. Here you can see it has two switches, one marked veg, I guess for vegetables, and the other marked bloom for the flowering stage. They also included hardware to hang the light. The hardware consists of four separate wires and hooks that attach easily to each of the four corners of the light. On the other end is one big hook to hang the light from the ceiling or some other point above the plants. This light is LED. Here you can see the LEDs, light emitting diodes. It is a full spectrum light. LEDs are extremely energy efficient and last significantly longer than traditional light bulbs or even fluorescent lights. This light has three high speed cooling fans to help dissipate the heat. You can hear it. It was a bit noisy in my opinion. This is the light with both switches on and it is very bright. It is also a bit noisy. Now let's turn off the bloom light and now only the veg light is on which gives us the blue end of the color spectrum. This is supposed to be good for seed germination and for the early growth stages of vegetable plants or leafy greens. Now let me switch on the bloom light and turn off the veg light. So now you can see the red spectrum, which is for the flowering and fruiting stages of a plant. You can have both the veg and bloom switches on at the same time. And then the lights appear purple, which is of course what you get when you mix blue and red. I found that with both lights on at the same time, the light was very, very bright. In fact, so bright, my kids complained about the light since I have a grow area set up in the kitchen which of course is a high traffic area of the house. I think if you're growing in the basement, this light is a great light to use. The noise of the fan and the brightness of the light will not bother you, unless of course you spend a lot of time in your basement. This grow light is labeled as 1200 watts, but according to the manufacturer only uses 190 watts and covers a four foot by four foot grow area when the light is at 24 inches from the plants. The light's wavelength from this unit is from 410 nanometers to 730 nanometers. There are some studies that show that plants need both red and blue light for healthy growth. The letters PAR PAR stand for photosynthetically active radiation, and these values tell you the effects of the light on plant growth. The values between 400 and 520 nanometers are the violet, blue, and green end of the spectrum, which is about 6,500 Kelvin. This end of the spectrum is believed to provide light for the best chlorophyll absorption, whereas the values between 610 and 720 nanometers provide the red end of the spectrum, which is believed to be good for the flowering and fruiting stages of a plant's growth. And this is around 2,100 Kelvin. Since the ratings of the light covers from 410 to 730 nanometers, both ends of the spectrum are covered. For growing microgreens or starting seeds indoors, or even growing leafy greens like lettuce or kale, the fluorescent 6500 Kelvin lights give you the best value. That is also good for herbs, really anything you grow that does not flower or produce fruit. On the other hand, a full spectrum light such as this one gives off that full spectrum of light for all the stages of plants development. These LED lights are more expensive in the short run, but they will last longer and consume less electricity than fluorescent bulbs. 
If you're growing in a dark space, such as a basement, I would suggest looking into full spectrum LED lights like this one more closely. I grow in my very well-lit kitchen. It has two skylights and a large bay window that lets in the natural sunlight in addition to the grow lights I use. And that concludes my review of this particular light and a little background information on LEDs. If you have information you'd like to share about your experiences with grow lights, please leave them in the description box below so that we can all learn from your experiences. I always appreciate your tips, your comments, and your feedback. Thank you for watching. Bye.